lot of dudes talk tough, I am real talk. I'm never lose sight of the reason why I'm here for. I went MIA but never took a year off. I was cooking up the Tyson flow to bite your ear off. Camera's rolling. Two take two. Thank you. Set. I'm stronger now and I'm more confident and I feel great about myself and I think that's the most important thing when it comes to progress. My message to young girls would be for them to focus on how they feel rather than how they look and not to compare themselves to other women or you know other people's highlight reels, just to really focus on how they feel about themselves. I think that's really important. I literally just used my Instagram to upload photos, um, before and after photos of my clients because I was a mobile personal trainer and I had nowhere to store my photos. The way it's turned out, I still pinch myself and, and wonder how this all happened. I had a vision and I had a something that I wanted to achieve and I wanted to help women and the scale that I'm doing it on right now is um, something that, you know, people can only dream of and I'm so appreciative and, and blessed in the position that I'm in now. I think the biggest struggle comes from um, the mentality around health and fitness and people set unrealistic goals for themselves and they think that they have to work out for hours and hours a day and, and that doesn't work in their brain so then they think well if I can't do it then I'm not going to try at all and what I'm trying to bring to women all over the world is that you don't need to work out for longer than 28 minutes you can fit that 28 minutes anywhere I feel like it's really important to incorporate everything in a workout and that's why I not only do high intensity plyometric training but I also incorporate weight training and I incorporate cardio as well. Always something new and something different. I feel like not even for me but for women in general no matter how crazy things get in your life it's very important to learn to relax. My first memory of basketball was playing outside with my dad, actually. I always played basketball my whole entire life. I started when I was around six or seven. I actually use a lot of the concepts for my training from basketball, and that's why I love it so much. As long as I'm doing what I'm doing now, which is helping women and motivating women to be stronger and more confident within themselves, then I'll be happy forever. My name is Kelly Zinnis and I'm a personal trainer from Adelaide, South Australia.